Hello, Andrew from andrew12tree.com. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to complete the application form, compile the documents, and submit your loan application to David Allen Capital. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go down the corner and bring up the screen, and we'll walk you through it. Now, before we go too far, if you've come across this video on YouTube, uh, I'll put a little red box up in the top uh, left hand or right hand corner to that will take you to the page where you can actually download the application form and complete it and submit it okay so uh, if you've just watching this on YouTube click that and come over to my page and uh, you'll see basically what's on the screen now is where you'll end up when you click that little red box so let's get into it okay uh, on this page, uh, if you're new, this video here explains uh, how to fill in a pre-qualification form and how much you need, how, how much you can apply for. Okay, so um, basically, it works out that you can apply for your monthly average turnover, and you'll be likely approved, and you can get the funding. So. That's where you click next step and in a new page opens up the David Allen Capital site and uh, you can see more information, all the information you'll need there and down the bottom is where the pre-qualification form is. Uh, and it's still loading for some reason. Okay, so that's where that goes. So if you click that, you can fill in the pre-qual form but uh, basically if you... Look at the minimum requirements here that you've been in business for four months, 10 grand minimum banked turnover. So if you're in a cash type business, you can only apply for the amount that actually gets banked. Uh, you need three or more deposits into your bank account. Now, whether it's from the same customer or multiple customers, obviously multiple customers is better. Uh, you haven't or you've had less than three non-sufficient funds or bounce checks. In other words, they want to know that you don't run out of money often, so they prefer zero, and you need a 500 credit score. It's a soft pull um, credit check, so it won't damage your credit rating by applying, and uh, you need to be located within the 50 states of the USA at the moment. So if you know all that and you're only applying for your monthly average turnover, you really don't need to do a pre-qualification form, you can go direct to the application. So uh, this is the video we're on right now. And just below the video, uh, you can download the application form, okay, which is the first step. So I've done that already, uh, and here it is. So to complete it, obviously, you've got to put your business name, um, and all of your details there with a physical address, phone number, email, uh, the date your business was created, number of employees, uh, any notes, whether you've got any outstanding loans, uh, and intended use of funds, um, you can just put business expansion or something in there because it doesn't really matter as long as your cash flow ha can warrant the loan. Uh, and does your business have more than one bank account, yes or no? And if it's yes, then you will need to supply uh, all of the bank statements below. So over here, some more business information, just complete all of that. If you have a merchant cash advance, tick yes and then put the amount. If not, just tick no. Okay. So you just need to complete all of that top section. Now here, where you go to the estimated cash flow, Basically, put in your annual revenue, okay, your turnover, your not your net, your turnover, and your average bank balance. So whether you just sort of average that out and have a stab. Now, last month's deposits from your uh, bank accounts, that should be pretty quick to tally up. And days with negative balance, uh, one would hope that's zero, but, um, you know, if it's one or two days, then you need to put that in there. And then do the same for month two, month three, and month four back in time. Okay. Now, uh, credit card 
overview, uh, monthly credit card volume, so how much you accept on credit card, and the average amount, so whether it's 100, 50, 20, whatever the amount is. Then tally up your uh, credit card sales total for last month, two months ago, three months ago, four months ago, and the number of transactions. So you, you could have accepted credit card 128 times. Okay. And then uh, just quickly fill in your owner information. Now we need to represent 50% ownership of your business here. So if you are the owner or you own 51 or 50% of the business, then only you need to apply. And then just put NA over here, not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. Okay. So that every line is completed because if there's not, uh, if there's a blank space, they'll ring and ask you. <laughs> okay. And then basically sign it, scan it, and you're ready to go. So what other documents, let me go back here. So here are the documents you'll need to send in with your application. The application form we just uh, showed you how to complete. The last four months of your bank statements. Okay, now if you've got two different bank accounts, then you might have to send two different four-month blocks of bank statements. Uh, if you've got merchant pro uh, processing, you need to put four months of that. Uh, a scan of your driver's license and a voided a scan of your voided check from your business account. And if you if your business is old enough and you've lodged a tax return last year, then put a copy of that in all, all pages. But if your business is too young to have a 2014-15 business taxes uh, business tax return, then obviously you can't submit it. Uh, which will not limit you from getting a loan. It just limits the number of um, lenders that we can go to, but we'll still get you a loan. If you can supply all of this above and not a tax return, we'll still get you a loan, okay? But it, it, if you've got it, send it in and it really bodes well. Okay, so uh, then once you've got all those documents ready, you email it to submissions at davidallencapital.com and attach the application form, your bank statements, your merchant account, your driver's license, void of check, and business tax return, uh, and send it to submissions at David Allen Capital, and within a day, we'll have uh, an offer or multiple offers for you to peruse and accept at your leisure. Now, um, if you want my direct help, uh, just to qu basically give me a quick email and say, hey, I've just applied, or simply copy me into your submission and uh, and we can get on the phone and help you through it. Okay, so I look forward to helping you. Uh, I understand it takes drive and ambition to build a successful uh, business. And, um, you know, with speaking to so many business owners, capital acquisition is the major problem in business these days to expand. So we've helped you get over that hurdle and beyond. And uh, I'm grateful to be able to help you in that situation. So if you need any other training on marketing, social media, anything like that, pop over to my blog or reach out to me. All my contact details are there. So that's it. Very simple and fast. You can have an application in in a few minutes, basically, because you're, all of those documents should be fairly close handy to scan and send in, and you'll have an answer in a day. And funding one to five days, depending on which lender lends you the money or offers you the money. Some of them fund overnight. Some of them take two, three, four days. So uh, you'll have the money pronto. <laughs> it saves you going through the four-month bank process to try and get a loan. So, all right, for now, uh, thank you and looking forward to helping you. And it's Andrew out. Bye-bye.